We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Behind us, you'll notice that that is Yellowstone National Park. Sign. Sign. What that means is that's protected land behind us. We're technically still in Montana, but that's Wyoming behind us. The road that we're traveling on is passing through Yellowstone just a little bit so we can enjoy a little bit of Yellowstone without going into Yellowstone. After a short drive, we actually went into Yellowstone, so follow us through there. Upon entering the park, you will get into a line of vehicles, which you'll be in probably for the rest of the day. Right now, it doesn't seem too bad. I've heard at times it can be bumper to bumper as you crawl through the park. This is our first time visiting Yellowstone National Parks. So we're not entirely sure what to expect. We've heard rumors of animals and mountains and trees. And of course there's going to be bikers and cars and campers. So we're just going to take the good with the bad and go and explore. Come with us. This park, it's so worth it. You're gonna see views that are just so spectacular. Our first encounter was the Terrace Spring, where unfortunately, no pets were allowed. So the water comes bubbling up here and it's hot. You can tell not just by the bubbles, but there's actually steam coming off of it. And we're in shores right now, so it's not that cold. Okay, so this is a pretty epic hot spring, but there's more. Come on. Behind us is Gibbon Falls. It's part of the Gibbon River that runs through Yellowstone National Park. Isn't that view glorious? We've had some amazing hot springs, a beautiful waterfall with an amazing view that followed it. Let's see what else we have in store. We drove up to this and there is steam coming out. Behind us is Barrel Springs. If you can't tell by the noise, it is spewing out steam right there. It does smell like rotten eggs. That's the smell you're gonna get for a sulfur. This is a very thin crust area. Okay, so there's a lot of hot springs out here. Let's see if we can figure out what else there is besides hot springs. Oh, by the way, that doesn't include the hot spring, which we'll tell you about in our next video. Oh man, stopping at these overlooks. It's so worth it. There sure are a lot of mountains out here, and all of them are breathtaking. I'm gonna stop and check it out. We stopped at a lot of the overlooks because there was so much to see, and we enjoyed every moment that we were here at Yellowstone National Park. And we know you will have a lot of fun here too. There's plenty of camping, hiking, fishing, all kinds of things to do. This road is just on a pillar. Now we're in a bunch of boulders. Out of nowhere, just boulders. And soon after that, the road changed up again. Just make sure you're following the rules. Don't feed the animals. Stay safe, stay on the trails, but mostly have fun. It's absolutely beautiful here. Another thing to note is fire safety. Make sure you're following the rules on this, especially there's too much woods that we lose for unnecessary reasons. In our next video, we're gonna show you some of the animals that we actually did see because there was so much to view in Yellowstone because of its size. We had to make this a two-part series. I 
did briefly mention something about the hot spring that we want to show most importantly, and that would be Old Faithful. We do have that coming up, don't fret, but there's so much more too. A lot of great views, a little bit of driving, some friendly people. This is what makes America's park systems so amazing. If you don't have one of the America the Beautiful Passes, make sure you get it and start visiting these parks. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.